What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys my favorite ring combo of all time. We got ourselves a Politoed and Swift Swim Kingdra for ranked regulation each. Now, when it comes to both these Pokemon, typically Kingdra is the heavy hitter and Politoed is more of the support rain setter. But on this team, both of them are the heavy hitters. Politoed is holding Life Orb as item, whereas Kingdra is holding the Choice Specs as item. So we can lead both of these guys, and they can both just start doing big da big time damage right off the rip. So I absolutely love these Pokemon. Cannot wait to showcase it. But let's talk about Politoed a little bit more in depth. Like I already mentioned, it's got Life Orb, it's got Drizzle as ability, but Drakken Protect, Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Muddy Water. So two coverage moves, one stab move. You gotta love it. Kingdra, on the other hand, has one stab move actually two stab moves which is going to be scald and muddy water but also has hurricane and ice beam no dragon moves but still really love this move set especially with a choice spec item our final four pokemon on today's squad going to be Wimscott, indeedy mousehold and arch luna now indeedy and mousehold could either be for support or for attacking they both have follow me then they both have a big time stab move with, with expanded force or population bomb Archludon, on the other hand, is just here to get off Archludon things, right? Electro shots, body press, stamina boost, all that good stuff. And then last but not least, going to be that Whimscott for Tailwind support, Encore, Taunt, and then Moonblast for a little bit of damage. Really strong Pokemon, really strong team. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Politoed and Kingdra team. Let's get things started off red hot. We're going up against another rain team. We're going up against Pelipper, Arch Luron, and Bastion Legion. The staple three in ranked regulation each. They also got Gengar, super dope Pokemon, hits like a truck, but it's very frail. Then they got Rillaboom and Incineroar. Now, I could definitely lead like Politoed and Kingdra here, and I actually really like that. So that is exactly what I'm going to do here early on in the match. I like it all day. Um, something I do want to check out is going to be Politoed's stats, and they're pretty solid. They're pretty solid. I was just going to check out special attack stat, but it actually speed's pretty pretty great as well. So I like both of these Pokemon right here. So we're going to end up leading them both. And I want to see, uh, we got to check Politoed's Terror type. It's straight water. That could be scary for like, obviously like Rollboom going with Grassy Glide. So we could just bring like Indeedy for like terrain control. That could work out pretty well. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Indeedy and then last but not least, probably just Arch Ludon, right? Arch Ludon's great, especially because they have Arch Ludon. So if I'm going to counter it, Maybe just going into Arch Luan and playing the, the 1v1 battle is probably our best bet. I like it. So Rain Squad versus Rain Squad here in match number one. Hopefully come out on top. Hopefully grab ourselves a win here. But if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, considering becoming a member to the Jeans channel, there should be a join button right next to the subscribe button. Or if you don't see it there, there is a link down in the description below. Also, you guys can support me even more by doing super thanks or just donations. Thank you guys so much for everybody who has donated to the channel. Again, not mandatory, but definitely appreciate it. And if you guys do not want to pay money, just liking up the video or subscribing or just leaving a comment. That definitely goes a long way too. So thank you guys all for the support. But Incineroar Gengar going to come out here for the lead. Let's see what we can do with this one. King Drip Politoed on my end. And they're going to fake out somebody. The real question is, who are you going to fake out? Who are you going to fake out? Could be Politoed. I might just attack, right? I might just attack. I might just choice into Muddy Water. I could go into Scald. I mean, Scald's good, but Muddy Water has a little bit of an accuracy issue. That's the only, that's the only problem here. I'm kind of worrying about accuracy a bit too much here. I'm going to go into a Scald here, and I'm just going to rip a Muddy Water. I'm going to rip a nice, lovely Muddy Water. Chance Arc Gengar does have the Focus Ash on him. If I had to guess, so I'm gonna go Muddy Water into the Polythoid slot, and I'm gonna choice into Skull with Kingdra just because I want a high accuracy move, right? Like, Kingdra's already gonna hit hard, stab in the rain, all that good stuff. We just want to be able to, what's it called, land some shots because I would be so upset if I go into Muddy Water and just start missing my missing my chances, especially when Kingdra's one of our heavy hitters. Like, we need to do damage with Kingdra. So, he ends up withdrawing in Cinema. Is this gonna be a Rillaboom play? It is gonna be Rillaboom, so Rillaboom's gonna fly out here. No big deal. Um, we have a chance to actually maybe get a burn here on Robum. That would be huge. A Scald burn. That would be amazing. But he's going to end up popping Grassy Terrain here. And I could end up just swapping Politoed into our NDD. That's not a bad call for us. Scald is going to launch and do great damage. We don't get the burn, but the damage was awesome. King's just going to take some mean damage there. And Muddy Water is going to launch. Muddy Water, oh my lord, the damage output is absurd. He's going to curse body. I think now is a great turn for us to just like swap into Indeedee and get rid of this Gengar. I think that's our best bet. Because Gengar is just a fast heavy hitter. We're just not trying to deal with that, right? 
We are really not trying to deal with that. So yeah, from here, I'm just going to skull Gengar, try to get rid of that. And then if they want to go in like Grace God enemy, we're just going to stop that in its tracks. We're going to go into Indeed here. So we're going to take Terrain Control. So far, so good. I mean, Skull, do you see how much damage that just did into Roboom? Like, Roboom's pretty bulky, right? You would say, you see, he's, a, like, higher on the bulkier side, right? Like, a little bit above mid-bulk. And that just did half damage with a not very effective shot. Come on, Kingdra. If I have a choice in a Muddy Water, though, I would have picked up the KO onto Gengar, which would have been awesome. But at the same time, it's like, eh. I don't, again, I don't want the accuracy. I really don't want the accuracy. We're going to bring out Indeedee. Love this Pokemon. We're going to take Terrain Control, and Scald is going to launch and get rid of Gengar before Robum even moves. So I think Robum wants to go for a Grass Guide into the Kingdra slot. I'm still hoping I could soak it up without the Terrain Boost now. Let's see. No, they're going into the Indeedee slot, which was Politoed. I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with that. So I could definitely see a Hard Swap pop out here from... From what's it called? From Robum. And I think from here, we just kind of... could Hard Swap you, because we might need you later. I could just go Water Terror here. Just do as much damage as I can to Arch Ludon. I'm so about it. I'm so about it. We're doing that. Actually, what's your Terror type, Ndidi? Yeah, Fairy. I mean, I was going to go for a Terror Blast, but I'm just going to go for Expanded Force. See how much damage we can do here. So I think you swap Robum all day. Yep. Robum gets a swap. We're going for as much damage as we can into Arch Ludon right now. That's really the play. That is really the play. And out comes Incineroar. Wow, a Scald into that slot would have been massive. Would have been massive. Attack drops come out here. Good thing we are special attacking. And how much damage could we possibly do this Arch Ludon? How much damage could we possibly do this thing? Let's see. Let's see. So we still have Polito. Great news. That's really good news because I can just muddy water away here. Um, if indeed he dies, they are going to get terrain control, which kind of sucks. I still have my Arch Ludon. And they're terrestrializing Arch Ludon here. This could be really good for us. What type are you going into? Because this could simply allow Skull to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Electric, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do some big... We might even KO this thing. Scald and Expanded Force. This might be really good for us. This could be huge. This could be huge. Scald is launching. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on, man. That's too easy. Later, Arch Ludon. Later, Terra. Get them both on out of here. That's huge. Expanded Force is going to fly. It's going to do absolutely nothing. But at the same time, they're probably just going to look to fake out this slot. And I think now is a good time to swap into Arch Ludon. Just start stamina boosting. Especially if they're going to fake it out. So we're going to swap King Joe. We got to see how many turns are left in rain. This is the real question. Because if it's one, that's perfect. And it's two. Do I have protect on Ndidi? Do I have protect on you? I do. I do. So our best bet is just going to be a hard swap into Arch Ludon. And then just a protect into Ndidi here. Because again, I want I don't want my Pokemon to die out here and me forced to go into my rain. And then rain just end. I'd rather like waste out a turn and then if I have to go back into Polytoad, I can reset the rain and have it for Kingdra for the rest of the match. So that's good news. That's great news. So Grass Guy launches. That's totally fine. And I'm stamina boosting up, which is exactly what I want. I want those defense boosts. Knockoff's gonna fly into Indeedy. And I can pretty much just like win this game, right? We can pretty much just win this game. Oh my god, what a match from us. What a match. Kingdra going crazy. I can now just like spam follow me with Ndidi and just body press him around. I'll just send it into the Volbum because Volbum's a bit more of a threat right now. Oh, I don't have follow me. I thought I had follow me on this Pokemon. I really did. I really did think I had follow me, but I guess I could just go for expanding force. I mean, I guess just Terra Blast instead. We're gonna KO Volbum. They're not gonna be able to. They're not going to be able to do much towards us. Terrible is going to fly, do respectable damage. Like, this indeed hits pretty hard. And we're going to trigger Citrus Berry right off the rip. We did, like, exactly half damage. The Citrus Berry comes out there, gives them a little bit of a boost. Endeavor comes out here. Oh, no. Luckily, I'm stamina boosting, but Endeavor on Roll Boom? That is crazy. Body Press flies out here. Roll Boom, gone. Get out of here. And, yeah, now we're just chilling to win this game. Endeavor on Roll Boom. Okay. I haven't seen that in Regulation H yet. Have not. I simply have not. I have not seen that. And yeah, they take away our sweep, though. We had a chance at a sweep. <laughs> we had a chance at a sweep. But down goes our Ndidi. Endeavor actually scaring me a good bit. And Arch Ludon is now sitting plus two. I don't really think Incineroar can even touch him at all. Really do a lot of damage. And we just bring out Polyto to win this game. They don't have Terra. I'm going to start using Earth Power instead just because I want accuracy. Actually, screw the accuracy. We're going right into Body Press and 
<laughs> and uh, Muddy Water. I think they cancel match regardless. So let's see. Game over, or are they going to fight for their lives? Or are they going to fight for their lives here? It looks like they're going to fight for their lives. Yep, they are. I mean, Politoed's landing Muddy Water. This should say Night Night. It does all day. Life or Politoed picking up the final KO. Your boy's sitting 1 and 0. Let's go hop into match number two. Moving on to our second match, and I always seem to struggle up against Weezing teams. Now, Glaring Weezing over here is paired up with Toad School to get rid of the abilities and kind of just get everything flowing. Now, I got to go into Pokemon that really don't rely on their ability, and honestly, Mousehole can really get after this. Let's be honest here. Mousehole could really get after this with Pop Bomb. I mean, ah, dude, the Technician Boost, though. I want the Technician Boost. I want the Technician Boost. I could maybe just go into, like... I don't know, maybe like Whimsicott here. Oh, this could get annoying. This could get so annoying. I mean, all these Pokemon really thrive out with their abilities. Swift Swim, Drizzle, Psychic Surge, Stamina. We got to get after this Weezing. We have to get after this Weezing. I think going into maybe just like Arch Loot on here, maybe trying to get after it that way is probably our play. So I am going to end up leading him. And I guess we'll go Mousehold. I mean, without Technician, how much damage is it really doing? That's right. I could Taunt. I could always Taunt. Could it, wait a minute, who has Taunt? Who's got has Taunt? You won't have Prankster, but you should still be able to outspeed a lot of Pokemon. 184, you know what? Yeah, we're going with these two. We're going with those two, and then we'll bring the Rain Squad for late game. That's the plan. That's the plan. It's going to be a tough plan. We have to get rid of Weezing, who we're going to see probably protect a lot. Oh, dude, this, I hate this game, man. I hate this game. So, the thing about this is... They use, or they, they want to use Toad Scroll. That's, that's their whole thing. They want to use Toad Scroll if this combo even comes out. And they want to put me to sleep. Luckily, once comes to grass, they're going to try to be focusing on Arch and Ludon. Um, and yeah, they do end up going into actually Palmot instead. Palmot can fake out. Um, which got on the field, which is rather nice. Um, Palmot is a fighting type Pokemon. I could just Trash Slice here into Flying, and I think I am going to do that and just try to rip a Flash Cannon here. So I'm going to go Flash Cannon. Um, and I'm just going to Moonblast Palmot. Let's do this. Yeah, we're trash. We, we're not taking a close combat. Like, close combat into Arch Luton. Just gonna hurt us really bad. Not the time to do it. So, I'm just gonna trash slice Arch Luton early on here. Look to get off some damage. Considering Palmot's a little frail, probably holding the Focus Hash. Moonblast can do respectable damage. He's gonna fake us out regardless. Moonblast launches. Bop. Big time damage. Palmot down to Focus Hash. So, he's sashing up. Now, what are you doing here, Reezing? I feel like you got a few tricks up your sleeves. Unless you're just going to throw a Sludge Bomb into a Whimsicott. That is a possibility. Yep, Sludge Bomb. You soak this Whimsy, you don't die out. Alright. I'll take that. I'll take that turn. Not terrible. Could have been better, though. Um, I guess we're going to you. I guess we're going to you. But no abilities out here. Uh, Earth Power can do decent damage. We could double down at this point into... Into Weezing. We could double down into Weezing right now. He could end up protecting. I could protect and get rid of the Palmot. Might be a better play for us. I'm going to get rid of this Palmot. And I'm going to protect here. I just don't want the electric move just taking us out. When I can just simply protect. But the electric move could go into Arch Ludon at this point. So I protect Politoed. I think they're going to attack Politoed. Now comes Double Shock into Arch Luron. Tough Terror on our end. Tough Terror on our end. Palmot's going to use up all of its electricity. We are going to be able to Flash Cannon for the KO, which is great news. And we could have just doubled down into this into this uh, Weezing here. Don't double down on my Arch Luron. Cool, he's going to go after Polyto. That's great news. That is great news. So hopefully he brings out somebody who's slower than my Pokemon. So I can now double down into this Weezing. I really need to get rid of this Weezing, because if I can get rid of this Weezing, I get the Rain Squad going. It's going to be Typhlosion, who, mm, a little bit of an issue. Slight issue for us. Slight issue for us. I mean, Snarl's not bad, but we got to go for Flash Cannon. we got to go for Earth Power here. They might even just protect the Typhlosion. They're going to end up terrestrializing it. This seems like an Eruption kind of play, right? He knows he outspeeds, yep. Ah, dude, I told you guys, I always struggle with Weezing, man. It's just such a tough play. It really is. It really is. So he's going to be able to take out Arch Loot on. Um, hopefully we get like a crit or something here. <laughs> that would be awesome. A crit from our, our Polytoad Earth Power would be awesome. We am actually doing a ridiculous amount of damage. I need the rain, man. I need the rain to get going. 
I need this rain. We need this rain. Earth Power launches. How much damage is this doing? That's good damage. That's good damage, Politoed. Can you soak up? I need Politoed to soak up the Sludge Bomb. Soak this up. No, Politoed. Politoed. I needed you. The thing is, I wanted it to soak up the shot, and then we were just going to protect, and then try to take out Weezing next turn, and then just get the rain going. But now I do not have the rain. Man, I got Muddy Water. I got Choice Spec Muddy Water. Hold up. This game ain't over yet. This game ain't over yet. This game ain't over yet. Muddy Water's gonna fly here. Our Terror Choice was bad early on there. Try making a read. And Weezing's coming to swap here. So Weezing swaps out here. Who is your final Pokemon? Neutralizing Gas is gone. And Toad Rules can come out here, which is just... Oh, man. Just such a strong Pokemon. An, an annoying Pokemon. Eruption flies. This is... We four times resistance. Dragon and Water. Shouldn't even do half. Nice. Nice muddy water land. Nice. Nice. Now we're cooking. Hold up. Kingdra. I need you to outspeed. Oh, that was a crit on Toad Scroll. That was a... We'll take that RNG. Double crit. Throw that one away. All right. Toad Scroll out here. He's got his little tentacles, like... Looking mean. Um... Do I outspeed these guys? Neutralize the gas is back. Better not put me to sleep. Better not put me to sleep. Muddy water flying. He's gonna put me to sleep. Oh my god, I hate this game. I hate, I hate wheezing, man. I swear I hate wheezing. I hate it. I hate it so much. Miss with your sludge bomb. Or your dazzling, whatever you're using. Strange steam. Game over. Thanks for playing. Oh my god, dude, I hate wheezing. Hate it so much. Hate it so much. Hard fault battle. We probably should have used our Terra a little bit better. That's pretty much what we lost this game. We're sitting one and one. Does anybody hate Galarian Weezing as much as I do? I swear, it is the most annoying Pokemon to play up against. We end up losing to it yet again. We're one and one. Hopping into our third and final match. I mean, they got Hydreigon, they got Metagross, who I absolutely love. Um, another Pokemon that always gets me is Sumi and Zoroark. I don't play bad up against it. It just tricks me with Illusion. So we're going to have to watch out for that and hopefully remember it this time. Pelipper, Archeludon, and last but not least, Dragonite. Um, I could just straight up lead Rain. I mean, I could just go Politoed and Kings are here. That's not really a bad lead for us. I got a lot of Dragon types, so I have, I have some Ice moves, which is good. So I'm going to go into both of them. And I love this Kingsra's name, Mystery. You ever play, or not play, you ever uh, watch Spongebob? That's what this the, uh, the seahorse is called in Spongebob. Mystery. <laughs> so this name is hilarious. But we're going to go into both of them. I love Arch Loot on here, and last but not least. Either Mousehold or even uh, Indeedy here is not bad. And after looking at it, I think Mousehold could be... Mm, probably want to go Indeedy. I don't know. Do we want to go Indeedy? No, we're going to go Mousehold. We're going to go in with Mousehold. See what this Pokemon can do, right? You got U-turn. You got follow me. You can support. Let's do it. Let's do it. A little bit of mouse hold action. All right. So we're one on one. Would love to grab ourselves a little bit of a winning record for you guys. I mean, King Jopalito ripped up match number two, one, not two. Uh, match number two, like you guys just saw. End up losing that one. Kind of hurt soul. But we'll see how they do here. Consider we're leading them. We got a lot of dragons. We got some ice type moves ready to roll out. Um, we're gonna go Hydreigon and Arch Dude on. Hydreigon and Archeron. So an Ice Beam could just fly out for us. And we can also Earth Power. They're not expecting Life Orb Earth Power to actually get sent here. Obviously, they can just go for Electro Shot. But I'm going to do this. I'm just going to rip an Ice Beam. Let's see. Earth Power, Ice Beam. No Terra for us. Because we both have Water Terra. It kind of just defeats the purpose. We're going to get ripped up regardless. Um, let's see what they do here. They protect Archeron. Okay, so a little bit of Ice Beam action. Hopefully, this Ice Beam could just, you know, KO with the choice specs. I hope so. Let's see. So close yet so far. So close yet so far. And especially because of Snarl came out there. Oh man. I hate Snarl. I hate Snarl. Um Could do a double swap. I don't want to swap into you here. Or Polytoad. I'm gonna double swap. I don't think there's a shot that they stay in here with Hydreigon. I really don't. I really do not see them staying in here with Hydreigon. I'd be surprised if they just go for Snarl. That would really hurt. That would hurt Soul, but it will trigger Stamina Boost, which is good. I just don't see it happening. That's my that's my that's my issue here. I do not see it happening. All right, swap it. swap Hydra. 
I don't think they did swap Hydra. No, they didn't. Hyper Voice fight. It's Zoruk. You son of a biscuit. It's Zoruk. It's Zoruk. It gets me every time. Snarl's gonna launch here. Who's dodging it? Archaludon dodging. That's actually a nice dodge, Archaludon. The mouse will survive it on one. That's huge as well. That's actually very big. So it is Zoruk there. We <laughs> we know this all day. Um, What's your speed here? 179. You should outspeed. So we know you outspeed. Um, we know that's Zoruk. We're gonna go for a lecture shot in this slot. And uh, you should outspeed, but at the same time, I can see Zoro just outspeeding you. Nope, you don't. Cool. So I'm able to do this. You turn pivot out, and I can go back into King Drop if I want to. Hyper Voice is kind of scaring me. Hyper Voice is definitely scaring me. I think I might just go into Polytoad here. I really don't want to lose my King Drop. I'm going to go into Polytoad. Polytoad. So we know they have Arch Ludon. We know they have Zoruk, who's right here. Probably going to rip another Hyper Voice. Yep. And Polytoad's able to soak. And I get another Stamina Boost, which is pretty massive. Pretty massive. Let's just shotgun a fly here. I'm going to send it over into this Zoruk slot. And let's see how much damage we can do. Should be able to do a nice chunk. Yep, all day. Is that Focus Ash? You are Focus Ash. You are sashing up. The so focus sash pops out here. We see that this thing is illusion. And kind of go from here. Let's see what they bring out here. Are they going to bring out Arch Ludon? We know they have Arch Ludon. Hydragon's dead. Um, that was a big time snarl dodge from our Arch Ludon. And they're going to bring out a physical attacker with Metagross. So Metagross comes out here. I could just body press it. I could go into snarl. Could just flash cannon away. I could go for more electro shots. Um, might as well just keep boosting my special attack, right? Do that. And I'd rather just make sure that this aura goes out, so I am going to go into a Ice Beam here. Actually, I'd rather go for Earth Power just in case you want to swap an Arch Ludon. And he ends up just protecting Metagross. So Metagross gets to protect here. What are you doing here, Zoruk? What you got cooking? You're going to go for another Hyper Voice. Polytoad, eat this. Mm, Polytoad. Really want you there. Sam does boosting. Sam does nice and boosted. Um, we can bring out Kingdra here. We got Swift Swim. We will outspeed this work here. And do I choice into Muddy Water? That's the real question. Do I choice into Muddy Water? Luckily, I still am going to get the special attack boost, which is beautiful. And I don't know if I choice into Muddy Water. Because again, we're going to have to deal with Archaludon, which is a big time problem for us right now. I still have Mouse Hold. And we know Mouse Hold outspeeds. You know, we're just going to go here, and I think we are going to choice into Muddy Water. Might as well use these main turns. Because I can always just hard swap out into my 1 HP mouse hold. So at this point, yeah, we're going to do this, and we're going to rely on Muddy Water to actually land here. How many turns left in rain? Let's give it a quick gander. One. Yeah, we're going to use this. We're going to use this Muddy Water here. Go ahead, Muddy Water. Need you. Protect the Zoro. Smart play. Not bad. Um... Muddy Water, gonna get blocked. Luckily, we are doubling down into this Metagross. And are we missing? This is why. This is why match number one, I, I didn't choice into that. That's that why. If I would've just scald that, that would've been beautiful. That would've been beautiful. That would've been huge. That would've been huge. It is good to know that our mouse hold does outspeed that sword. Really good to know. So if I can KO here plus three... We got a shot at win this. I can KO here being plus three. And I do. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Alright. So Mouse Hold out here. Luckily Mouse Hold outspeeds. I can U-turn pivot and KO this uh, Zorok. Um, they're going to bring out Arch Ludon. We know Arch Ludon's their final Pokemon. And at this point, what do I do and how do I play it? I'm plus two on the fence. A plus three on special attack. Um, I have flying terror. What could they send into my arch loot on? Dragon move. Gotta go for body press here. Gotta go for body press and I gotta go for U turn. Okay, yeah, it's Rook. And we'll see terror type pop out here. Now, what terror type are you? 
Because if I can survive, like if my Mouse can survive and my Arch Ludon also survives, oh, a Body Press looking scary. Both my Pokemon can survive. It'd be really nice because then I could just follow me the next turn. Me turn's gonna outspeed. Bye bye, Zoruk. Hold up. Give me a chance. Hopefully they go first because I don't want to boost their stamina. Oh no, this is scary. Aura Spear. That's gonna KO us. That's gonna KO us all day. You survive. Hold up. Arch Ludon, I love you. I love you, Arch Ludon. I love you. I love you. I love you. Body press doing at least half, which means I can just go into another body press. I mean, Flash Cannon's gonna KO. So we're gonna go Flash Cannon here, and then we can just Ghost Terra follow me. Ghost Terra follow me all day. In hopes that he's going for another body press. Oh my lord. Match came down to the wire. It's looking pretty good for us, especially with just like following me here, but Aura Spear coming out here. That scared me. I thought we were dead to that, but luckily, I got the Assault Vest. I got the AV, which is gorgeous. The Assault Vest actually saved us that game. The Assault Vest actually saved our Arch Ludon. So that comes following me. Aura Spear comes out here. Does not affect Mouse Hold. That's game, set, match. Thanks for playing. Gene's bouncing back here in match number three. We go 2 1 for today's video. I absolutely love this Kingdra squad. Like I mentioned in the beginning of today's video, these two, one of my favorite rank combos of all time, Politoed and Kingdra, they both rocked out today. Both of them were heavy attackers. Kingdra with the choice specs, Politoed with the life orb. You guys got to see a lot of damage today. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.